Jeff Bardwaj, Asian News International. Um, Minister Jay Shankar and Secretary Blinken, thank you for doing this. Um, Minister Jay Shankar, you've had a very busy week at ANGA, uh, meeting all your counterparts. Uh, now, uh, did they express their worries about uh, Ukraine, which you mentioned in your remarks, of course, but also Taiwan? And uh, did you discuss the impact of these developments on the global economy with Secretary Blinken? Uh, how, are the, how are the two countries going to work together to address these concerns? And my second question to Secretary Blinken is, um, you, you talked about F-16 and the obligation that the U.S. Mm. has, uh, but can you further clarify what counter-terror uh, terror threats does Pakistan face and why is there a need for these, uh, uh, these fighter jets? Mm. Also, there's a discussion with your uh, Pakistani counterpart to improve ties with India and to make the region more stable. What was their response? You did give them an advice to maintain peace. Uh, what, 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 is, what was the advice that you gave them? Um, you know, uh, I had, of course, a lot of meetings uh, in the UN in that week. I met, I guess, roughly about half the delegations uh, who were there. Uh, and uh, a common concern among them was the anxiety about, uh, about uh, global economic volatility and anxiety about you know, sharply increased energy prices, uh, of food inflation and food availability, uh, of uh, fertilizers which will impact food next year, of disrupted trade, uh, of shipping, of insurance, of airline movements, of travel. So uh, this was uh, honestly uh, not a, uh, an optimistic uh, global mood. Uh, which uh, you got from your colleagues. Uh, and uh, uh, I think uh, in particular, uh, the, you know, what the impact, the consequences of the Ukraine conflict has been uh, on many of these issues we, uh, I spoke about. And also, I think the, uh, the prospect of instability or, uh, uh, you know, uh, on, on in the Indo-Pacific. Uh, uh, because uh, today Asia uh, and Indo-Pacific is so central to to global trade, uh, and in particularly in some very critical areas, so these were very very widely uh, prevalent uh, concerns. Uh, we had a good discussion about it yesterday evening, uh, and uh, uh, we do think uh, today. I mean, I speak for India, but I also speak to some degree for the relationship. Uh, having an impact on the world. We think the right thing today is to find ways of stabilizing the global economy, of, uh, of softening prices, of uh, making sure that uh, global trade and is more predictable, uh, that uh, the sources of anxieties and tensions are less. Uh, because at the end of the day, that's really, you know, uh, Prime Minister Modi, of course, said this is not an era of war. But this is an era of where we seek development, where we seek prosperity, where we seek progress. Uh, and, and I think uh, India nationally and India through its key partners would like to do more to, to strengthen those trends. Um, on the question of the, uh, the F-16s again, uh, and it's important to be very clear, this is, as I said, about sustaining an existing program not adding a new one, and we have a responsibility to do that wherever we're engaged in the uh, provision of uh, defense equipment like F-16s. And second, as to what these are for, um, there are clear terrorism threats that continue to emanate uh, from Pakistan itself, as well as from neighboring countries, and whether it is uh, TTP that may uh, be targeting Pakistan, whether it's ISIS Khorasan, whether it's uh, Al-Qaeda, I think the threats are clear well-known, and we all have an interest in making sure uh, that um, we have the means to, uh, to deal with them, uh, and that's uh, what, uh, what this is about. Um, more broadly, we always encourage our friends to resolve their, uh, their differences through diplomacy, through dialogue. That hasn't changed. It won't change. It would not be appropriate for me to characterize Pakistan's response just as I wouldn't characterize uh, our friend's response in, in a similar conversation.